how my mom's refrigerator looks. This is the refrigerator side. This refrigerator is like old, so it's not that huge. A lot of this stuff is going in the trash. I ain't gonna lie to you, cause my parents like to hoard. And the cereal and stuff is up top. Some childish stuff no one drinks. So why is it here? I don't know who in the world makes a Lucky Charm hot chocolate. So it's just stuff like that that has to go. Or like all these little... I never see nobody in this house eat a pickle. And here they are. We have hella dressings. We can start our own salad shop in here. So yeah. So some of this has to go and... I'm not going to be the YouTuber that films every single thing because I feel like you guys are only here to see the organization part. So what I'm going to do is empty out this refrigerator here. I'm going to just work with one side first. Clean it out. Clean out all the shelves and get all the residue. Take everything out. And then the part you're going to see is where I want to organize. So, yes. My mom is going to kill me for putting this on YouTube, but... This is why you should clean out your refrigerator frequently. I did the top part already. I'm just at the bottom where all like the juices from the top shelves and stuff flow to the bottom and get really caught up in the crevices and cracks. Still haven't done this side yet. Ooh, I'm out of breath y'all, but stay tuned. This is all of the stuff, well not quite all of it, that I pulled out of the refrigerator. A lot of stuff got thrown in this trash can, that's why it's super full. Some of this stuff was outdated, like some spinach we had from like October. A lot of things that should have been thrown in the trash a long time ago weren't thrown in the trash. So what I'm going to do is start with the drinks first. So the largest space is the top area so i'm going to use that for drinks i'm going to start off with the healthy drinks and then milks and things of that nature and water Okay, I added some light so I hope you guys can see better. On this side, I'm going to start working with the dairy products. So any cheese, butter, um, any extra milk or anything, yogurt is going to go up here. Actually, I changed my mind. Since this space is a wider space than this space, all the dairy, the extra dairy is going to go here.
so this has been washed out. I got this from Walmart. It's to keep the produce um, fresher. <laughs> so I'm gonna dump all the spinach. I have like four bags of spinach. I'm gonna try to fit it out in here, so. I forgot to mention, we have an extra fridge downstairs, so all of the extras that we have can go in the refrigerator downstairs. So yeah, we have two refrigerators. Now I'm gonna go ahead and get the carrots. Take them out of the bags. And I got this from Walmart as well. It came in a pack of seven. So now it's in the bin. So I'm gonna go in here and put it by the spinach. Next I have this romaine lettuce. It's just kind of just sitting in here. I got this container from Walmart for about $6. It came in a pack of two. This is how it looks. Now you just don't have a random thing of lettuce just sitting in there looking all crazy. Next, I have these grapes. I'm going to put the grapes in this little thing. This is the pack of seven that I got from Walmart. Cleaned them so they're already clean and washed. Uh -uh. So I'm going to sit those there. Okay, so I have these peaches. So I'm going to sit them in this basket. So they just won't be everywhere willy-nilly. I'm gonna sit those there for now. Um, in this bottom area here, I'm gonna put the dressing. In here I'm going to in here I'm going to add like condiments like jelly ketchup things that are most frequently used here these pickles ain't nobody gonna eat <laughs> how old are these pickles I don't know In this bottom shelf, I'm going to put things like salsa, cheese dip, things of that nature. Okay, at the top, I'm going to put the extra dairy, like the yogurt, up here.
I definitely forgot I had a cucumber, so I'm gonna put that in a slender container like that one. And I have a tomato that can fit in with the cucumber. There's space for it. So I stuck it in there just like that. So next is gonna be the miscellaneous area here. So I'm just gonna, uh-oh. I'm gonna stick this bread, I don't know who, why, or what. But I'm gonna stick it, throw it in there. My mom has um, the panko breadcrumbs. I'm just gonna put all the breads with the bread stuff, anything that's bread related. This potato salad. <laughs> wow. Gonna put the eggs up. We've always had an egg tray. I'm just like that there. So I have these protein packs and charcuterie packs, basically. Okay, well this is expired. We have a whole charcuterie tray. Throw that in there, close the lid. And then my protein pack, I'm gonna just sit that on top there. We do have meat, we have some bacon and some turkey lunch meat. So I'm gonna sit the meats in this drawer here. Down some chicken stock, I'm gonna sit this with the salsa and the cheeses. We have this box where we keep a lot of condiments in, like Chick-fil-A sauce. I really don't like how this looks. I'm debating to throw all of this crap away or trash it goes. Actually, no, I'm not gonna do that. I think I'm gonna move this. egg since it looks like actually I'm gonna put the bread at the bottom drawer just because So I left the charcuterie, I, I took all the bread stuff out, left the flour and potato salad, the charcuterie board and protein snacks, and I put the bread at the bottom because I don't think they eat pancakes every morning or bread. So I stick, stuck it at the bottom. So I found these noodles and I'm going to put this in this jar. They were in a big green box, and yeah, that's so ugly. All that's just miscellaneous down there. Okay, so I ended up moving the charcuterie board again down in the meat section along with the bacon and the turkey meat. And I'm just gonna put miscellaneous things there because we have a lot of extra space so far. So yeah. At the bottom of all the bread. So 
so this is how it turned out. So at the top we have all the yogurts. We have the cheeses and like other dairy products. So all three cheeses, mozzarella, sharp, Mexican, sharp cheddar. Um, cream cheese, sour cream, butter, regular cream cheese, that was strawberry cream cheese, and American cheese, and pepper jack, all of the dressings, all of the condiments, all the condiments that you use on the daily mixed with some ice cream, condiments, and then we have the miscellaneous on the bottom, the salsa, the cheese and queso dip, the black seed meal and the chicken broth then in here we have the charcuterie board with the meat we have lunch meat we have the protein cheese packet and bacon down here's all of the breading which will be your pancake mix your cinnamon rolls your cookies your bread your bread crumbs and other waffle mix and stuff like that so that's at the bottom in the middle we have eggs and sauces that you get from restaurants and save instead of putting them in a drawer you just save them in the refrigerator um this is pasta it was in an ugly green bowl so i put it in a clear one to make the refrigerator look nice here is also some drinks so we have like your energy drinks your sodas um i do herbalife so this is my herbal elo concentrate mandarin flavor we have some other dressings that couldn't fit they're the same ones and it looks aesthetically pleasing so i put them together potato salad um more bread comes bread crumbs in the back and also extra milk that we had additional space for so the top here is your veggies and your fruit so i Instead of leaving the grapes in that ugly plastic, I put them in a container as well as the peaches, the carrots, the cucumbers, and tomatoes. They fit perfectly. I got this little set. It was a seven piece at Walmart. Um, I also put the romaine lettuce and spinach in these two tubes here. Um, it's supposed to keep it fresh. I also put the additional green drinks in the back. So that would be like your bolt house and your naked juice and things of that nature and suja. Then as the top, I explained earlier, I put the Berry Blast on the top. I put the Berry Blast on the top, then more Naked Juice, water, um, coffee creamers, things that are used often are put in the front, bottled waters in the back, the sweet teas in the back because uh, we shouldn't be drinking sweet tea. So that's back there. And then extra milk is in the back as well. And also, I wanna move this out the way. I also put half and half back there and it's a juice back there. So this is the final result. I did. If you guys want to see me tackle this freezer, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm like dreading doing it because this took three hours to do.